Caution, this video contains sensitive subject matter and views you may not agree with. Please keep an open mind and respect others' views. Um, but the second thing I want to talk about is term limits. For one, I think... I, I'm going to be one of the few, but I think an eight-year term limit is too fucking long. Really, four is pretty damn good. Four is actually really good, and we really should be thinking about changing the term limits up to four. mean just for president I mean anyone that's any political figure should be limited to a four-year term and once your four years is up you're done that's it I mean unless something happens of course if something happens yeah keep them in I've, been, I've also been watching designated survivor which if you guys haven't seen that that's another really good show that you guys need to go watch designated survivor um, but we really need to limit how long these people are in power. Hell, some of them are lifetime fucking senators and all this other shit. That, we shouldn't be having this shit. If you are a person of power in any government, you should be limited. I mean, hell, Europe's doing it right. They could have a president. That next day, they could have a brand new president. <laughs> That's how it should be ran. And it's because it keeps it fresh. It keeps new ideas in. It starts helping. It expands. It's not going to fix everything, but it's going to fix a lot. And once you start fixing something, people are going to see what else is broke and start fixing that. And, and that's... And talking about that, that's something else I need to talk about. Is uh, So I was on Twitter the other night, and I was looking at... Uh, one of the guys that follows me and I follow him I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to bring attention to it but uh, if he watches it I know he's going to know I'm talking about him and dude I'm sorry I'm not here to, I'm not trying to piss you off trust me I'm not I, I want to talk about this as general as possible it doesn't matter if you're black white Asian Arabic Mexican it, 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 any type of Indian both of them daughter feather <laughs> I'll make that joke it doesn't matter what the fuck you are your race should not freaking matter anymore. Now, if you're still stuck on things that happened years ago, and I'll admit, it was wrong. I'm probably not the person that should be talking about this because I'm as white as sin, and I I'm probably not the person to be talking about this. But I'm going to bring it up because, you know, it concerns me when we have so many people that are so concerned about race. Why the hell does race matter anymore? It's freaking 2016, almost 2017. Race is the last thing that we should be concerned about at all. We should not care. But there are people out there that they're still stuck on that years of slavery. And I admit, it's wrong. And if I could do something about it, hell, I would have. But I can't. And I'm not saying forget about it. No, it's an important part of history. It's something that we need to learn from. But what people don't understand is they don't have all the facts. And I'm not on the other guy's side either. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to take sides with this one. I just want to educate you guys here. Slavery has been a thing for as long as there has been documented, uh, as long as there has been documented governments. Rome, uh, Egypt, oh, I'm sorry, I got a burp. Everywhere everywhere has had slavery and not another race for slavery sometimes their own but nonetheless slavery has been around forever blacks have enslaved themselves asians have enslaved themselves whites have enslaved themselves and that's something that i don't think is touched on ever when talking about slaves in american history it's never brought up in school that there were white slaves. We enslaved our own as well. And sometimes it was for something as stupid as the mother of this little girl who's now a slave slept with a black dude. I mean, what the hell? Whatever. Go get it. Fuck, I don't care. Nobody should. But 
that's how stupid it was. Now because that little girl is half black, half white, she's now a slave. And the mother becomes enslaved too. She's either imprisoned or she pleads and becomes a slave as well. And it's wrong. But that's something that's never talked about. There were white slaves as well. There were black slaves. Hell, there were friggin' Mexican slaves, depending on where you were in the United States. We enslaved Indians at one point. And it's a horrible thing. White people should be ashamed of it. But you know what? None of us alive today were around when it happened. None of us were alive. Let that sink in. None of us today were alive when people were still legally owning slaves. No one. And don't let the history die. Don't. Don't stop talking about it. It's an important thing that we need to learn from. But it's something that we need to realize it, it happened so long ago. And I'm not saying it's not a bad thing. It's a horrible thing. But we need to start realizing that in order to move forward as humans, as a society, we need to stop dreading that shit that happened. And stop, and I, I know there are still people today that are racist, homophobic bigots. That, honestly, I believe, you know what, eradicating these few assholes could help. But you know what, it wouldn't solve the problem. Everyone's going to be racist. Everyone's going to be freaking homophobic. It's, that's the world we live in. I, I, I said everyone. I shouldn't say that. Not everyone. Um, I know I'm not. I know a lot of you guys aren't. Um, but it's one of those things in order to, in order to move on, we need to realize that we can't keep letting the past affect the future. It's no longer about us. Most of us, I mean, I'm not, but I'm 24, almost 25, and I know there, I still have a long life and I could fix a lot of this, but me as one person, I can't do anything. All I can do is be the preacher to the choir. 